I will show you how I do keyword research so then I create YouTube videos and I include these keywords in my YouTube titles and in descriptions and when people search ser for certain solutions on YouTube or on Google my videos show up and then people watch my videos and at the end of my YouTube videos I have certain call to actions where I give away to people certain lead magnets for which they need to then to opt in and I build an email list or recently I've started inviting people into my free school community so at the end of the YouTube videos and even in my descriptions and often even in the middle of the videos or at the beginning I tell people hey if you would like to hang out with me come and join my free school community and they come to my community then F school is like uh, Facebook groups but it's outside of Facebook it's a private community app right where we build our audiences and people come in they give me their emails and all these kind of things so in this video I'm gonna show you how you can drive traffic to your email list or to your community by you putting certain keywords in your YouTube videos that people are searching for let me show you how that's done do you have a video on YouTube about this topic not yet no you see you don't that's the whole point here Hmm. If you sit down for 30 minutes right now and just talk about this, it's the same thing with my stuff, like how to build a membership school. Maybe I'll rank somewhere, right? I mean, it's other people. But yeah, if you go down more, yeah, you will. I mean, mm. You see, again, how to create a membership with school, right? 10 days mm. ago, 30 views. I am getting five subscribers per week up and I'm not even big, I'm small. And they are all searching for this stuff. But I mm. ap appeared here because I created a video on that. Yeah. I'm, I'm using this kind of app that's called Keywords Everywhere, right? Um, this app, I paid like 10 bucks and per year, and they gave me 90K credits, which you I never run out of. <laughs> mm. it's for, so anyway, I mean, but this can be done for everyone to know. Also with Google Keywords Planner. You can use even that app or keywords planner is free. This one is free. You click on discover new, key new keywords. And now we need to start with some keywords. We need to feed this guy with some stuff. This is how you begin before we even use the keyword planner. We go to Google or YouTube. So I'll open those both YouTube because YouTube and Google, they are both connected. It's the same search engine. Now tell me, right. Tell me, please, one uh, thing that people would search to find help about relationships or what's the what would they search? Heartbreak. For? How, to, how to overcome heartbreak. Look, first thing that happens is, right, while I'm searching, I already get the see that this tw 210 people per month search for this keyword. All right. How to or heartbreak, overcome heartbreak and depression. Again, 210 people a month. It gives me some ideas. Heartbreak in a relationship. 10 people a month, right? We need to do this research once and save all of these ideas. So I searched for that and I'm going to click on this star, star right now. Mm. When I click on the star, this app now, it's gathering those keywords here for me in a list. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. Build, building a list now. We later will take this and we can test and put it into this guy. The, you see... How to overcome heartbreak it gives me suggestions. Heartbreak and depression. Put that on the list. How to overcome breakup. Put that on the list. Is that related to you? Yeah. How to overcome broken heart. Is that the relationship? Yeah. Right. How can I overcome heartbreak? This is zero mm -hmm. searches. So we don't really need that. Do you have a video on YouTube about this topic? Mm, not yet. No. You see, you don't. That's the whole point here. If you sit down for 30 minutes right now and just talk about this and include mm. include this, create it the same way, a title on this. Let's check if there is some stuff. Probably there is, but it's the same thing with my stuff. Be, how to like how to build a membership school. Maybe I'll rank somewhere, right? I mean, it's other people. But yeah, if you go down more, yeah, you will. You see, I mean, maybe, yeah. it's, maybe it's because it's my channel, right? But build the memberships with school it showed my stuff here even if mm. it's eight places down so much traffic comes to this youtube that someone is going to be like okay look at this guy i mean mm. uh, you see again how to create a membership with school right 10 days mm. ago 30 views 
I am getting five subscribers per week up and I'm not even big, I'm small. And they are all searching for this stuff. But I mm. ap appeared here because I created a video on that. Yeah. Okay, same thing with your stuff, right? When we search for this keyword, how to overcome a heartbreak and depression, you want to come up, even if it's down here, you're going to get five views and people will like you and they're going to mm. go to your free school, right? In my videos, I get them to go to my free school then after, right? Right. And for example, for paid memberships, keywords, right? I do that and I have only this. And then when I'm creating all my YouTube videos, I put these guys in the tags, put them in the right. tags. For example, if I, how to create a membership program, look, 100 people a month are searching that on that. I created a video on just that in the title. I put it that in the description here and there. Uh, maybe I'll just show you really quickly my um, yesterday's YouTube video. Just so you know how I did this plus. Wow, three hours. Yeah, I gave my course away completely for free, right? My full course. So I am releasing my full masterclass, look, keywords, on how to build a membership paid community using school, right? Mm. How to build a membership paid community. That's like a combination. It's a keyword, right? Um, and in, it's in the title, build a membership community with school, at least something similar, right? And then three more keywords here. How to create a membership program is one. How to create an online course is number two. And how to create a membership site. Uh, that's the most searched keyword in my niche here. Uh, one of the most ones. How to create a membership site. 390 people, right? So you see, I put three mm. keywords in my description on top here, right? How to attract a man. That's another one. Where do I find a man? It's a lot one they ask. Right. So look, it's a woman. It's a man. How to attract a man who ignores you? By the way, I... I think, I think I, more I, men would more men will be searching how to attract a woman rather than the other way around. You will do both. So, I mean, sex, I don't know. I'll just give you this anyway. I mean, on chat, that's... Look, what makes a woman magnetic, right? People also search for... Look, we get a complete um, idea here, right? See now how to attract men again. No, didn't we? Let me refresh because we already selected those. Primoz, another question is um, my niche is obviously a bit different to yours. So, would you just, you know, put all your value on YouTube and, yes. you know, what would be considered the course, like a course as well then? I mean, on YouTube, you create a bunch of videos on these topics, like small, smaller elements, 10 minute videos, right? I mean, you, I mean, I, you see, I gave my three hours of material away there. Right, yeah. but people on YouTube will not maybe often just go through it all and take action correctly. They still want to need guidance privately, right? Oh. Sounds like a plan. So look, I'll export those for you now. All right. Right. You're gonna have a library now. 